What's up, what's up everybody? This is Simon. In this episode of Tech Visibility, we are gonna go ahead and review and compare a webcam that's supposed to be 1080p. This one looks like it's made by Swook. Swook? I can't even pronounce it. I mean, it just says 1080p webcam. However, it's a very popular one on Amazon. I'm looking at it. It has over 6,200 reviews. The link is below in the description. Now, this camera here, is going for $18.59. Normally it's priced at $30 and it's off 35% right now. So you could get this under $20, get a 1080p webcam, which can possibly compete with a C920 or a C922 from Logitech. I'm gonna unbox it. We're gonna go ahead and review it. We're gonna compare it, see how it does in low light, see how it does in comparison to low light with the other brands such as Logitech, which is my favorite webcam so far. If you haven't checked out my other reviews, Check them out, I did a review on the Logitech 4K Brio. It was a good review, it's gotten a lot of views. Then I did a review on the C920X and the C922 Pro. Those videos are all available on our site. You could see them as well after this video. So let's get this unboxed and reviewed. Now before I do that, I always ask you guys to do the biggest favor you can for us here at Tech Visibility for all our hard work. Subscribe to the video. Hit the like button, it helps that YouTube algorithm. Comment below if you bought this webcam on Amazon and what you think of it, and we will be thankful. Also check out techvisibility.com for the latest product news and reviews. It's our little home site that we created to compete with some of these big giants. Now we buy these products with our own money, so it's honest reviews. Thank you, so let's get into this. So the box looks very similar to the 4K that I reviewed by XCam, which is also on the website. It looks like someone makes these and maybe they privately brand it. You can see here it says webcam 1080p HD computer camera, microphone laptop USB webcam for gaming. Now 110 degree viewing ang angle, that's pretty good. So let's see how it looks inside. You get this little shutter. Now, I reviewed a similar shutter. I was not a big fan of this shutter, to be honest with you, but it's good to have a privacy shutter on your webcam, as the C922 does not come with it. Now, the Brio did come with it, and I love the Brio, so that was a plus. Okay, you get this little tripod stand to adjust anything just to the dimensions you want, and that's pretty much all that's in the box. It's pretty plug and play. I notice it has one mic input instead of two and there's a power indicator here. The shutter actually works really well. It's very easy to pop out and on, and what's neat is you, you have a little shutter window here, so you could actually just do it like that, and it doesn't stay on, however, so I don't know what's going on. There's a little film here. If I remove the film, let's see if that makes a difference, and yes, it does, and it's a sticky. So the film had a little stickiness, so the shutter is just like that. It's actually not bad, okay? I do like the shutter. The sticky helped a lot and it kept it on there. So I'm excited. If this webcam for that price is good, for under $20, I would buy this for all of our people in our office and see how it does. Because what's the point of spending, you know, X amount of money on Logitech if you're getting a good quality webcam that's 1080p? This is pretty similar. This is very good rubber here. So you're not gonna get that slippage. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the monitor. I'm gonna compare the C922, the Logitech Brio, and this 1080p webcam by the name of SVC OU Swukuk. Anyway, I'm, I'm going crazy. But I do like the shutter, guys. The shutter is actually really nice on this. It's a little flimsy, but it's staying on. It's super simple to use, and I'm glad they included it. It's a bonus. Cable is pretty long too, so we're gonna get this plugged up, start the recording on here while this Sony A6400 camera, which is about a thousand or so dollars, will be recording with a lens on it, by the way, so it's about a $2,000 setup. You'll see how it does in comparison. And before I do that, I do wanna mention that this has two pivoting points here and the tripod can be screwed into the bottom so you can mount this anywhere. But it has a hinge here to pivot so you could angle it perfectly and then a hinge here. 
it'll help mount on the monitor and then you could point it up or down, etc. So I should say that the camera is simply plug and play. Once you plug it into your USB, your recording software will detect the camera there. There's a red light indicator on the camera itself. You could see it right here. As you see, the red light has come on and we're gonna go ahead and really just test this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and select USB camera. Unfortunately, these are not named for whatever reason. And we're gonna start recording. And in terms of audio, we're gonna have to record with the USB cam 2.0. And I'll let you guys know when I'm recording with the USB cam, okay? So I'm gonna set this halfway to where it's not getting in the red or so. So let me turn down the volume, maybe to 30%. So I had to change the DB settings so it doesn't sound like the camera is that bad, but you could always up it in post-production and etc. So there is also a green light indicator when the camera is active. That's really neat as well. So this camera is actually pretty impressive from the outside of it. Let's see how it records, okay? So I am recording on this 1080p camera. It's doing a pretty decent job here and the recording sound is actually coming from the 1080p camera. So you guys are gonna be able to see how this sounds. Now I'm not recording this from our mic, mic which, which I, I usually do from the A6400, which provides a very good quality recording. I'm recording from the 1080p camera, I'm looking directly at it, and this is the quality of the video in comparison here to the A6400. Now, the A6400, this has a lot of light around me. I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the light, and we're gonna go ahead and experience how this 1080p camera does, and we'll see if this 1080p camera can record me in quality low light. So here I go, I'm turning off the light, and this is actually a pretty good low light camera. I mean, here's the A6400 in low light, this is the 1080p webcam that I've purchased. I actually like it more than the 4K webcam. This thing is pretty good, guys. I mean, I'm impressed with the quality thus far. Now, let's switch it and let's record the C922 with light and low light. And you're going to see how the difference is. Again, this is on this weird name I can't pronounce, Swoop, uh 1080p camera and i'm impressed thus far i hope the quality of the sound is really good and i think it will be again it only has one mic but it has great indicators a good shutter so let's change the camera up and we're going to go with the c922 next and give you a comparison okay okay guys so i recorded on the 1080p camera now i'm back on the a6400 with the a6400 quality sound i will be going ahead and start recording on the c922 which is now active here and it is recording now the c922 i'm looking at it it's got the two microphones that are much bigger on the side in a little bit of a preview from the 1080p recording i sounded a little bit hallway-ish it doesn't have a good microphone in my opinion so that's the big difference maybe you can detect how the c922 sounds and compare it to the quality of look my movements if they're fluid etc and that's really where we're at with the c922 versus the uh Kook 1080p now here's how it looks in low light this is the c922 guys again i'm on the c922 in low light i am talking to you guys with the c922 it's got a nice little indicator you could check out my c922 review this is the a6400 here that is recording and you can see the the quality of the recording in low light is just horrible on a professional camera so again we're going to go back with lights on this is the c922 and the sound of this camera is probably better than the 1080p just because of the microphones and we got the brio 4k right next up so it is important to have a good camera for your meetings okay okay now we're going to go ahead and record from the logitech brio 4k camera now the logitech brio 4k is my favorite camera thus far of course it's about 150 to 200 dollars it's not a budget camera whatsoever you're comparing a 20 dollars or 18 dollars camera to almost a 200 dollars camera now you could adjust the volume of your camera and microphone and 
try to get a better volume and mix, but the Logitech Brio should blow it out the water, being that it's 10 times more the price. Here is the Logitech Brio. As I mentioned in the recording, we're using the Logitech Brio microphone. It has the two microphones on each side. The Brio is a 4K camera. It is a much better build camera in my opinion. It's supposedly the best quality and if you want the best, that's probably the best camera out. Again, check out my reviews on the channel for the Logitech Brio. You should see the thumbnail here and you could check that video out afterwards or check the link in the description. So again, this is the Logitech Brio. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights so you can see how well the Brio does and this gives you a good basis for comparison. And then we'll go over why a good web camera is important for all your meetings. So as I turn off the lights here, the Logitech Brio has done a great job with the low light setting. I feel like I'm very good in flesh tones, very fluid movements. The Logitech Brio obviously is the top of the line here. And if you want the best, this is the best you could get in my opinion at the time of these webcams that don't track your face etc and without going too professional or too commercial or too conference room you know, setups that they have uh, in terms of the big setup studios that you see in these expensive expensive conference rooms at your offices now i do feel like the logitech brio can be a good conference room camera if your conference room is small it's got a good wide enough angle but again you'd be the judge you have the A6400 in low light, you got the Brio in low light, and you know even if I just turn on one light, that's the big difference here. So the Logitech Brio does a really good job in my opinion, and you can see the sound quality as well. Okay, there you have it folks. You had the test of all three cameras. This is the 1080p we're doing a review on for $20, it's a great camera. The importance of webcams is essential. If you're gonna be in meetings all the time, working from home, you want a good sounding camera. You also want a camera that's gonna work really easily, that's gonna be plug and play, that you're not gonna have to troubleshoot, that has a privacy lens because you don't wanna get caught doing, you know, not working on webcam, etc., or not turn off your camera and not know you're in a meeting and say something wrong. I love the fact that this 1080p gives you a bunch of indicators here on the front, and including whether it's powered on and whether it's on and the privacy shutter is just so simple to use. I would actually buy this camera for a few of our team members. I think it's a quality camera for the price. If I was on a budget, I'd get it. Definitely the C922, you could tell the difference and definitely the 4K, you could tell the difference. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review and unboxing of the Swoop, how do you say this name? Svikook. 1080p camera, over 6,000 reviews on Amazon, currently on sale for $18.59. That's a steal, that's almost a burrito and a half, and uh, maybe two burritos. And you know, you could get this 1080p with image stabilization, H.264 processing, it comes with the tripod, it's got a 110 degree viewing angle, a good six foot power cable USB, you could extend that. Smooth life streaming, it works with games, it works with pretty much uh, your PCs, and the 30 frames per second is supposedly at 1080p, but you could tell the difference in regards to movements on the three computers. Hope you enjoyed this review. Please give us a like for our hard work. Share this video, subscribe to the channel, check out techvisibility.com. As always, we appreciate you. Check out the other reviews as well. Thank you.